Rachel Keo. I actually took lessons as a child. I started to retake lessons just recently, about four years ago. My name is David Moore. I play the violin, and I've been taking lessons here at Worcester Music Academy since May of last year. My name is Cheryl Pulaski. I'm a flute student. I've played the flute for 10 years, and I'm also a voice student, and I've been doing that for four years. My name is Betsy Bronstein, and I'm a cello teacher and also a fiddling teacher at the Worcester Music Academy, and I've been teaching for about 30 years. I started taking lessons again because of my children's interest in wanting to take uh, music lessons, and that sort of gave me the nudge to take piano again. Actually, I'd been thinking about taking lessons as an adult uh, for a number of years. I wasn't sure whether I had the ability to really learn an instrument with any skill at all. I decided to take the plunge and say, what the heck, what have I got to lose? And I found out that I enjoyed it so much, I actually purchased a, uh, an instrument of my own. I was looking for something to fill some time. It's a lot about enrichment and, and uh, balance in, in the lives. I know several students who want to do this to provide really much needed balance to what their career provides. I play from the age of 8 to 12 and I call it forced instruction. I was forced to play. I was forced to practice. I was forced to play music that my music teacher only wanted me to play. He was very strict. I did take lessons as a child. I played uh, trumpet in the junior high school and high school band. I kind of viewed um, practicing as a chore. As a kid, I played, I had to play an instrument that was free <laughs> and available. So I wound up with the oboe. I think it, one of the wonderful things about um, teaching adults is that it's often you're helping somebody make a dream come true. They're taking lessons for the very best reasons, which is they just really want to do this and, and enjoy it and have fun with it. The style of teaching that we have now is great here at Worcester Music Academy. Um, it's more of a collaboration. I find now that um, practicing is, I find is a pleasure to me. Now I'm playing an instrument that I like and I'm doing it because I want to, not for any other reason. I think that adults do have a lot more discipline. They also understand more readily and more quickly that if I practice and uh, work hard at this, I'm going to have a lot more fun. I think back to when we were looking at schools. It was actually this school and another school, and also private lessons. Um, and I remember meeting Sarah, and I think her personality is what reeled us in. Truly, I think she creates a fun and comforting experience here, and that's exactly what I was looking for. It's just the environment that Worcester Music Academy creates. It's very positive. It's always a positive experience. And the fun is always first and foremost. You know, yes, come, yes, learn, yes, grow musically, but always have fun. The reason I enjoy coming here to Worcester Music Academy is, of course, the professionalism of the staff. There's a lot of opportunities at the Worcester Music Academy for performance, and there are always new ensembles and courses being offered, and also a lot of performance opportunities um, to play out in the community, uh, to play within the school, sometimes to play with other students. There's just a lot of opportunity here. Sometimes they have the feeling that, oh, I don't know whether I'll be able to do this, but they're amazed to see that they can. And um, it's really just a function of not setting limits on yourself. I would say if you're really interested in taking music lessons as an adult, um, don't hesitate, go for it. Um, don't let anybody discourage you from taking lessons either. Don't hesitate. I think if it's in the back of your mind for that you've always wanted to take music lessons, I think you should free your soul and just do it. If a worry is I don't have time to practice, don't let that stop you. You know, a little practice is better than no practice and the benefits are far reaching. Everybody has busy lives, we all have busy lives and I think that I find it relaxing. I find it a form of decompression, to be honest, a breather from my day-to-day. -day. Better late than never.